Hi. So what's happening in your life, guys? Are you being creative? I really do hope so. This is really the moment to have plenty of creative projects. Don't spend too much time at the beach. As you can see, I'm wearing my, uh, my swimming costume because it just is so warm here. Um, yeah, so this is, you know, a good time to um, be creative. I mean, I'm not sure that a lot of trade is being done at the moment, except if you are really in the tourism business and even so. But um, yeah, um, we see uh, there's a tension at the moment with lots of rules being implemented, which could seriously hinder the capacity of the creative industries to actually travel, go to trade shows, etc. with the um, um, health pass um, uh, necessary now to, or, or a negative uh, uh, test necessary to, um, to show um, on demand when you uh, try to enter certain types of premises in France, I understand. And I understand that the UK government is also thinking of adopting a quite a similar measure for the UK people. So there's a, a lot of tension because a lot of people don't want to be controlled in their uh, lives and endeavors like this, which I can totally understand. Um, however, you don't also want to be left out uh, from you know, the, your capacity of being able to go to trade shows and to travel so that you are able to, um, you are able to, uh, to meet some clients and prospects, etc. So it's a fine line, you know, and uh, although I really do think that this is completely overreaching and totally over the top and unnecessary, except, of course, if you are a person which is at, who, sorry, who is at risk of, uh, of getting infected with COVID because you've got some comorbidity um, factors, well, I really don't see what the, you know, the whole, uh, the whole, uh, coercion is about this is unnecessary really um, and um, even if you are vaccinated in any case you still need to protect yourself by wearing your mask and um, keeping some um, uh, you know s social distancing measures etc etc because quite a lot of people who are double vaccinated in the sense that they receive a two doses of either you know uh, Pfizer or, or Moderna um, are still you know getting infected so as I'm sure you know the situation is quite tense um, but you don't want to be left out as well. You need to be able to travel. You need to be able to um, to go to trade shows to um, also fulfill your creative endeavors by being able to visit, you know, uh, creative venues like museums, restaurants, uh, cinemas, theaters, etc. So um, it's you know I think it is a con like you have to ask yourself. It's a personal choice, of course, that every one of us has to make. Uh, but the risk is to be left out actually if you don't um, if you don't make the a choice which allows you to be able to go to uh, public and creative places. So, and hopefully, uh, hopefully in a, a few months, all this craziness and uh, coercion and um, political measures which are completely overreaching and uh, OTT are going to find. Uh, finish and, and and stop you know hopefully also there will be a change of guard um, both in the UK and France in terms of the governments which are currently at the uh, at the helm because both of them are really quite terrible um, anyway I've, it's it's an you know a, 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 like a situation which has um, is new uh, uh, for most governments obviously because we're not uh, uh, we've not been affected by by uh, pandemics for quite a long time. I think the last time was the Spanish flu back in the 20s. So yeah, it's it's quite an unprecedented um, situation for quite a lot of governments. Uh, still, I think that um, there, there was much more uh, appropriate ways to actually uh, deal with this by way of nudging, um, increase, uh, increase the level of awareness of people through uh, vaccination campaigns and uh, and awareness campaigns, and also, um, as I said, prioritize the vaccination of people who have comorbidity factors and who are therefore very much at risk of uh, getting COVID and also uh, not making it if they get COVID. So, this, this being said. Um, even though the business may be, may be slow, it might be slow, I don't know, in your, in your world, but uh, I think a lot of creative uh, sectors have been affected. Uh, and um, it's, it's a good thing that the Cannes Film Festival, uh, Festival and Market took place 
uh, two weeks ago, even though they were completely shambol shambolic, to be honest. And I'm glad at the end of the day I did the uh, virtual version of the uh, camp film market. Um, it was great to be able to do it from the comfort of my own home. Um, so yeah, it might be slow, but this is a time for creativity, for nurturing your creative skills, for um, taking care of maintenance stuff, like, you know, looking after your websites, um, after your admin, after your accounts, etc., paying off, you know, debt if you have some, or making some wise investments if you have some, because you've got the time to do this. And of course, um, uh, basically we kind of uh, um, um, some old friendships and um, and also um, connections in your family because now you have a time uh, as it's less hectic that during um, you know the um, the spring and um, autumn months so best of luck to you creatives and uh, we are here at Crefv to s serve you if you uh, need us and uh, don't forget to subscribe and um, talk to you later bye